day is here. But welcome to our 24 hour, hour room challenge. Welcome to the 24 hour room challenge. Right now it's 8.23. We are starting a little late, but we've prepared food and stuff. We have friends and family coming over and this room hopefully is gonna look a lot different tomorrow morning. Here's the to-do list for the 24 hour room challenge. Got our mood board. We have some Starbucks gift card giveaways. And each time you complete a task, you take a piece of candy. <laughs> so as you can see, I try to make it fun, but it's a big list. This outlet has to go because we're exposing this fireplace. And the outlet over here is behind the dresser, so it has to be moved. And this outlet over here doesn't work, so we have to replace it. Let's go. This is the first one. The little project we're tackling. So there was an outlet right there. It wraps around the chimney. There's an outlet right there. There's an outlet right there. And this one we're gonna keep. This one we're gonna keep. We're taking off the wiring here. It's all external above the baseboard. And we're gonna be exposing this fireplace. So I'm very excited to see what's underneath here. But that wire had to move. So we're losing one outlet. Yeah, she's always wearing Don't get the outside. That's fine. Okay, and there's also... I've been here since 9 and I did all this. Yeah, why'd you use that window? Oh, goodness. Gotta go down one. Oh, that was relatively smooth. That's <laughs> true. Okay, wow. now Graham is literally holding the entire thing. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> right, Josiah? For the YouTubes. All right. <laughs> We're working. And what are you doing? Yeah. You're getting all the bits. Charlotte, what's your job? I'm getting the Oh, nice. Good job. This teeny. Got a tube in there. As long as there's a tube. Okay, we're checking in, it's 12 o'clock. Basically been working for four hours. The big thing we discovered is there is not a fireplace here, just a chimney, which is a little bit of a bummer. A big bummer. Really changes the plans. Probably a little less work to do, but won't be as cool in the end. Won't be as pretty. Yep, we did that. We have fixed the electrical mostly. I started making these frames for the um, built-ins. We've been talking a lot, so we haven't gotten a lot done. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a birthday we're celebrating too. Yes, so we've had my family here, his friend Graham, and yeah, we've we just been mostly talking. So, but people are painting outside. Karen, my sister, did all the mudding. Work and is still being done. We'll get it done. Got a crew out here, got to paint. This crew. Hi. We're gonna get ready. Ready. Not a lot of space. <laughs> Look at this crew work. This work all day. Oh, We've been working for hours. What do you have to say? <laughs> Our backs are aching. She's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working for five minutes. <laughs> so with all the people running around, the cats are keeping to themselves. Got a little bisky over there and bison. He's the scariest of them all. Right, bison? Such a handsome boy.
putting stuff in. What do you think, Biscuit? We're at that time of the night. It is 6.36, but it's already dark out. And we have no light except for this fan that doesn't put much light off. So we have some little lamps. We have so many lamps in our house. This is what we're working on right now. So we're taking our little dressers and we're, we're having to cut just a little bit off the bottom. And we're making sure the cuts are straight. We're still probably gonna have to shim this a little bit. So the vision is that in this spot that this little box is gonna have this outlet in it. And then it's gonna actually support the dresser in this box, a countertop that goes across between this one, which that one's not cut yet. I get all the loud stuff done before it gets super late. I feel like my cutoff is like around eight, eight to nine. Yeah. And then it's kind of like, oh, that's, that's, that's not respectful. So we're gonna chop some stuff. Mm -hmm. and we cannot use our power tools anymore because we live in a row house and our neighbors will start hating us. So there's still a few things that we gotta do that involve the power tools. So we're basically gonna pause on that. Like that needs power tools. This needs power tools. So we're gonna pause on that and then basically start painting and do all the quiet stuff we can. And then, I don't know, pick it up maybe pick up like the power tool stuff in the morning. Meet the ceiling. And I haven't shown you the color yet. So maybe I'll make you wait. I need way more paint. This is a bad first roll. What? It's pink. It's like a pink brown. It's pretty. It is 1.25 in the morning. We are beginning the repair of this and the remortaring. And here's the ceiling. Looks really good. I think we're about burnt out for the day. It is 2.40 a.m. And we just finished the chimney pretty much. Just a few little touch-up spots probably tomorrow. We did a little bit of drywall next to it. The ceiling is painted. I don't know, we'll see how it looks in the morning light. It's a little dark, but it's a very cool look. We'll definitely need another coat or so. Did some trim work on the wall. And we've been going since 8.20 a.m. So I'm good with not doing a full 24 hours. Anna's downstairs cleaning a bucket with her mortar in it. It's time for bed. I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. Good night. Okay, we really haven't filmed today, but it's three o'clock the next day. And we have been working since 11 or 10. So we got up, we slept for like, what, seven hours? Yeah. Skipped church and we kept working. So besides been working on the drywall, I was working on this. This is installed now. And then I had to cut all these window sills so that our countertop will fit. So our countertop is here and I just painted these supports. And she's always gonna finish that. Yeah, Anna's been crushing it with the Thanks, buddy. You've been crushing it too with the drywall. It's not easy to patch. And it's going right into brick, so lining up screws. I could like use an anchor, but that's kind of stupid for this little patch. So you're trying to like just hit the, the mortar, which is really hard. Yeah. So there's like little wood shims behind this. And here's my last piece. Will it fit? Oh, 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 Almost. So close. All right, I'm gonna work on that. Okay. 
So we didn't finish the room in 24 hours, but we did over the next couple weeks finish things up. So this is a little update video of what, kind of where we finished off. I got the countertop installed, half of it painted, and then I'm gonna put some little trim on the front. And then I also finished up the rest of the trim in the room. We had to wait on that because the drywall mud was taking forever to dry. And we had to, of course, finish up the, putting up the drywall before that. So that's why I ended up putting up this box molding a couple days later once all that drywall mud was done. And then, as you can see, we started painting and we always forget how long painting takes. Painting took us like two days to Josiah rolled all the walls and then I did all the trimming. And we just had to go over it so many times. And just because there was a lot of trim, that definitely added to the time. So just remember that if you're gonna add box molding to walls because it does add time when painting. But I love the white, cream, and pink and how it all came together. And then you saw we got our mattress. It's a Zenith. We've had these mattresses before and people really like them. And then we got these cute little lamps at a thrift store um, probably a couple months ago. So I'm excited to be finally putting that up. And I ordered a plant hanger to actually hang it from the wall. And I ended up having to drill that into the wall, into the brick, because we live in a row house. So that was a lot more complicated than just putting it into studs. But no big deal. Got that done. And then for the built-ins, I was able to use some of the original knobs. I like these little small ones for the top drawer, but I didn't like the rest of them. They're just a little bit too antique country. So I ended up ordering some new ones from Amazon and um, they matched the other ones perfectly. So that was pretty lucky. And then we just finished up some little touches and are you ready for it? Three, two, one.